Hello, today is January 18, 2020, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're not going to record a flight, but I am going to talk a little bit about my setup and some of the trial and error things that I've learned as I create the videos for anyone who's interested. I noticed a lot of my videos had screen flicker, and I was scratching my head trying to figure out what was causing that. It started to happen when I began using screen mirroring program. I started with Lonely Screen, I used that for several months, and then uh, very recently switched over to a program called 5K. What I noticed is that when you bring up the screen mirroring, I was recording my videos in a program called GeForce. I'm going to bring that up for you just so you can see what that looks like. Now GeForce is this right here. And then I would click up here and then it, I would record directly in the simulator right here in the GeForce Experience program. And what I noticed when I used that screen capture program, I'm going to close it here. What, what, what I noticed was happening was that the screen mirroring program caused some kind of conflict with the GeForce Experience recorder and whenever the screen mirroring image would go away, which would happen any time I interact with the X-Plane, there was a flicker, some kind of conflict going on there. And, and I tried all kinds of different settings uh, to no avail. In the end, what I figured out w was happening was I couldn't use the GeForce Experience recorder anymore because of that conflict and how to find another way to, to do my screen capture. So, um, so as you can see, we have X-Plane up, um, I use Track IR, which is a great program. It's got a receiver mounted right on top of the monitor, and then it's got a, a IR transmitter that is mounted to the headset, so it tracks head movement, and, and again, it adds a lot of realism. So, uh, but for now, let's see, let's make this uh, go away. Let me show you the program I'm using. I use a program called Filmora 9, which is right here. Filmora 9 is what I do all my video editing in, and what I noticed is that up here, if you click on File, Record Media, Record PC Screen, that's the program that I did some experimentation with and found out that it does not cause the conflict with the screen mirroring program. It's a really, really nice recorder. And uh, I, set, I, I changed a few settings on there uh, so that it saves the files to a location where it's convenient for me to find them. So that's, that's the program I use, Filmora 9, for all my video editing. And then, uh, I wish I had known about this much sooner, but right here it's got the record media feature, record PC screen, so it's going to record the simulator, all the sounds in the simulator, and then, of course, my audio. And uh, let me make this go away for a minute. I'm going to minimize that. Uh, so, yeah. All right, let's bring up the screen mirroring program. This is 5K, all right? So this is the 5K player right here. Now I have my iPad set up just to my left mounted on the, the desk, and then I'm gonna click on screen mirroring, and then I'm gonna select the 5K program. It, it takes a couple of seconds to, to queue up, but once it queues up, uh, it, it's a great improvement over the lonely screen program I was using because what was happening there is that any kind of input, so I'm tapping now on the 5K player, so it should mirror right there. And there we go. And I'm going to move this down here. A couple things with the lonely screen program that I was using for, for again, this is mirroring a Apple device to a PC screen. For those of you who are interested in using ForeFlight in your simulations. Uh, so a couple things that Lonely Screen was doing. Number one, the quality of the image wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. There was definitely some loss in, in the, the quality. The other thing is that inputs on my iPad were delayed between the iPad input and what was showing up on the PC screen, and that became frustrating at times. Other times it would lose its connection. So lots of things going on there. One, now that I've switched to the, to the 5K program, the, the image quality is great. 
all the feedback is instantaneous. So right now I'm going to tap on, on checklist. It comes right up right away. And as you can see, it's a nice, crisp, clean image. So that was a great improvement. I was hoping when I went to 5K that it would also get rid of the flicker. But again, through trial and error, I discovered it was, a, it was not the mirroring program. It was the GeForce Experience program. Okay, so now what you're seeing right now is all recorded on Filmora 9. Now, when I interact with X-Plane, of course, the, the screen mirroring program goes away. That's just, it is what it is. And then I have to remind myself to keep bringing that back up again so that the people viewing these can, can see it. But, but as you see now uh, in this recording, there is no screen flicker, that frustrating screen flicker. Now, the thing about the screen flicker was it was, it was not coming up. I did not see it as I was flying the airplane. I would only see it in the recording. And, and again, that was the GeForce Experience program causing that. I've done some experiments now with Filmora 9 and I'm absolutely not seeing it. So I'm gonna bring the screen mirroring program back up, make it go away a couple of times. And the other thing that was happening with GeForce Experience was as I brought the screen mirroring up and, and made it go away again, there was, the, the flicker was accentuated and uh, what I noticed with this program, Filmora 9, is it, it goes away, there's maybe one flicker, and when you bring it up, same thing, one flicker, but not that annoying screen movement and multiple flickers, you know, to bring the screen mirroring program up and make it go away again. So again, right now, if I was recording with GeForce Experience, you would already be seeing all kinds of flicker in the video. So I think it's important to talk about you know, our simulator setups because we, we learn from each other. Uh, I use the SciTech yoke system with rudder pedals. I find that to be really great. And again, as I said earlier, the Track IR program is a fantastic addition. And the other thing I, I'd like to comment on that, that really enhances your uh, flight simulation experience is, is using Pilot Edge uh, for ATC communications. These are professional air traffic controllers who, who uh, they basically perform the same functions as a, a real-world ATC. And uh, that, again, for both training purposes and just to enhance the experience in general, I highly recommend it. So that's it for today. Again, I just wanted to point out that that was a, a something I was struggling with. I did come up with a solution. So future videos are not going to contain that annoying flicker. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.